Hey y'all, this is Jocasta Lester. In this video, I want to talk to you about some real stuff that just kind of freaked me out. But I want to tell you about some things. The devil is the accuser of the brethren, okay? When you get caught up in this criminal justice system, um, when they come after you, there are charges, then there are convictions. Jesus Christ, when they laid hold of him and they convicted him and he left this world, under what were um, accusations and actual convictions. Jesus' conviction was king of the Jews. That's what his conviction was. So after all of the things that they accused him of, what stood is that he was a convicted for being the king of the Jews. That's who Jesus actually is. He's the king of kings and lord of lords. So. They can bicker, they can fight, they can decide, but what it comes down to is what you're actually convicted for. I got convictions that I've pled guilty for. And I'm telling you, there are things, like the standing conviction is the end of your life. The last one. So understand it. Have a blessed and marvelous day and repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. What stands on the record, what the rulers of the land come to, that's what you've been convicted of. And I'm telling you, there are things loosed on earth and in heaven. There are things coming down in the book of life on some of us that are scary. I've already been accused of, um, what was it? Trespassing, disturbing the peace, stalking, um, theft. So that in this case where I was told that I robbed, I was charged with robbery. And I pled down to misdemeanor theft, okay? So I was convicted of theft. Um, I was charged with uh, trespassing, all types of things. I was convicted of disturbing the peace. I was charged with what was stalking and um, all types of things. Um, trespassing, I was charged with trespassing, stalking, all that stuff. So. I've had a bench warrant that was issued for my arrest from Augusta, Georgia, when I just went down there to see my child, and that's the truth. So I want to see what the standing final conviction is when it comes to this particular problem. I mean, I've just done my job to just do my job and to stay away from the system. So, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. I just want to say that final conviction, because when they gave him the death penalty, they gave him the death penalty for being the king of the Jews. So just know it. So I'm just going to watch what they convict me of and know that God is almighty and he knows. He saw. He saw what I was charged with. He saw what I did and he knows whether or not I'm born again because I know I'm born again. Now there's been a lot of talk in the spirit about me being Babylon. There's been all types of things. But I'm just going to let you know God is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that he should repent. And I'm telling you I have been told things that are scary in my spirit. So we'll just take a wait and see position. There's nothing that you can do under God that he doesn't allow to be so there you need like this guy said you need a permission slip the devil needs a permission slip from God to act upon you so really at the end of the day don't get mad at God don't hate him for anything just know that God is good and he'll show you the truth about who you are and what you've been accused of and with the Holy Spirit present it stands so just have a blessed and marvelous day and you guys thank you for watching